Welcome to Family and the Beast channel. My name is Janet and this is Chloe Lingen. <laughs> Chloe is our taste tester. Remember all the ingredients and measurements that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi everyone. In today's video, we will be making some corn ribs and this is a trend on TikTok. So I tried it, I really enjoy it and I want to share this recipe with you guys. Of course, I've switched up some of the ingredients that was used. Um, I made it my own and um, I think I enjoy it this way with some of my different seasonings and um, the way I prepare it. Now for the ingredients that I will be using is my corn, I have some black pepper, complete seasoning, garlic salt, paprika, adobo, I have some Old Bay seasoning, butter, and I have one pack of Goya Cezanne, and this is not that bright orange color. This is the very light color. This is the white one actually. It doesn't leave any bright color. So make sure you use this one. So now we're gonna place all our dry ingredients on the side until we're ready for them. And I'll prepare the corn and show you guys how to do it. So now you're gonna grab yourself a baking pan. You're gonna line it with some aluminum foil. And this is just for easy cleanup. Now I'll place this on the side here and I'll go wash my corn and I'll be right back. So now that you have your corn, you're just gonna split them down here in the middle, like so. And then we're gonna cut them back right down here in the middle again. And here we have it. We'll just place these on the side here and we'll just do the same with the other one. They're easy to break, so just be gentle and have some patience. Now, once you have them like this, you'll just place them in the pan and just leave it there until you're finished with the rest. So I'll continue with the rest and I'll be right back. So now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna remove my cutting board and show you the next step. So my two stick of butter, I'll just open them up here in a bowl and I'm gonna go just put them in the microwave and get them softened. So now that I have my butter all softened here, I'm just gonna open my um, Cezanne and you wanna add in the entire pack. I used six corn in total. They were really huge, just so you get an average amount of the ingredients. And I'm gonna start by adding in my dry ingredients to the butter. want to mix this to make sure that they are all combined in the butter now you want to take your mixture and just pour it on top of the corn and you want to mix to make sure that the corn is coated evenly with the butter and the seasoning and everything that's in there so now that the corn is well seasoned we're going to put some foil paper on top of it. We want to cover it and place it in the oven to bake for 30 minutes on 425 degrees. We're going to cover it because we want the moisture from the corn to be locked in there. We don't want it to dry out. If we don't cover it, the corn will be dry. Now I will place this in the oven and I will be back in 30 minutes to show you the end result. So guys, after 30 minutes, we're checking on our corn right now. And these are looking so good. They're smelling so good. So guys, what I like to do now is to just um, flip them around in the sauce here. You want to make sure that it's covered in all the butter and the seasoning that was released and it's at the bottom of the pan so and these are all good here they are ready to serve um, Chloe is gonna try them and she will tell you how good it is this is one of her favorite favorite food so I'll let you guys see her try this in a few when it's cooled down mm -hmm. time to try it 